When you're asked to factor a quadratic that has a negative in front of the x squared, the easiest way by far is to simply factor out a negative one from the entire quadratic. This will change or flip the sign of every term in that quadratic. In this case, negative x squared becomes positive x squared, plus 12x becomes negative 12x, and negative 35 becomes positive 35. From that point, you factor just like you have previously when you have a plain coefficient of one, or just a positive x squared, same difference, as your first term. So I'm going to look for two terms that multiply to this last term, but add to that negative 12. So they are going to multiply again to a positive 35, but add to a negative 12. Since they need to multiply to a positive, but add to a negative, I know that both numbers must be negative. I'm going to write down the factors of 35. Those are one and 35 or five and seven, but again, they all need to be negative. Now, if I were to add those together, I would get here a negative 36 and here a negative 12, so there is my answer. The two numbers are negative five and negative seven. Now that I have my two terms there, I can write my final answer. It is negative one times x minus five times x minus seven. The key here is do not forget that negative one. Make sure that it stays there until the final answer. Some teachers will want you to remove that one and just have a negative in front of it. I've seen some teachers that actually want you to take that negative one and distribute it into that first binomial. Please just follow what they ask you to do so that you don't lose any points and are counted correct for this answer. If you would like a more in-depth explanation for why and how this works, as well as some full examples, please click on the long form video linked in the description below. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.